Hello everyone, welcome back to another Let's Play. So there's been a lot of hype recently around a new game, which I think is called Humanity, which is meant to be like a Project Zomboid slash Daisy sort of game. An isometric top-down light Project Zomboid. But I'm curious to see what it's like. So we're going to jump into the game and see if it's really worth all the hype. So it's in early access now, I think. So I don't know what there is of the game at the moment, but we'll jump straight into single player and we can see what it's actually like. Select profession. Unemployed. <laughs> Having no real skills or the motivation to hold down a job, you start to your fight for survival with no useful skills or perks. Wonderful. Mechanic, junior biodiesel researcher. Blimey. Emergency medical technician. So you get perks all with them. Apprentice, gu apprentice, apprentice gunsmith, I think, is going to be one of the most useful probably early on. <laughs> you can remember tinkering with firearms for a very young age, so much so that you are able to turn it into a profession. You know, they're working the most firearms and eat in and out which makes you 50% more effective with gun repair kits. Your hands deal 300% more damage in our armed combat. That will be useful early game considering I don't know what the weapons are like. Farmer, food service worker, fisherman. You know what let's actually go with amateur boxer because I feel that's gonna be most useful early game. So it seems a little bit different than Zomboid. So now we've got our vitals in the bottom left. We'll keep an eye on them. Got it used to camera. Ah, there we are. Toolbox. Rope. <laughs> now we've got very limited space currently. Survivor letter. Dear Survivor, if you found this letter, then it's been too late for me but maybe it won't be too late for you i hope by writing this letter the next survivor who finds this will have a better chance than i did it's been a while since the outbreak the human numbers are getting less and the affected seem to grow stronger every surviving the usual stuff be the hatchet Give me the, give me all the stuff. Improvised hammer. <laughs> Improvised axe. So they highlight the stuff, which is really good. It's an open window. Can we jump? Yeah, we can jump through. Perfect. Painkillers. They'll be good for infection. Though I don't intend to get infected. Backpack. Let's have that straight away. And now we've got that. Yes, now we can pick up more stuff. Perfect. So it's the wardrobe. <laughs> we've got pants. Suitcus. Hat. We got a beanie. Nine mil ammo. Yes, please. Uh, machete. I hear a chicken. So we've got a shelter. Purification tablets and they stack, which is good. Can I, I wonder if I can pick up the chicken and bring, and bring you inside? Let's try. Tomato soup. <laughs> so we've got shelter. And we've got a car, I think. And the stuff we need to make the car run. What's that? <laughs> Let's open the door. And now we're stuck behind the door. Good, we say. So the camera zooms in when you're indoor about inside a building. That's helpful. Is the car repaired already? No. 
do we have crafting blueprints already that we do so they start you off with crafting blueprints i really like that that's something that zomboid doesn't have i believe i haven't played it for a while honestly stone knife rope repair kit See, I thought the washing machine would have a motor in it or something. Useful, such as that. And the car... Sorry, the house doesn't have a second floor. So there's nothing to get in there. So we've got to start some motor. That's two out of the four for the car, I think. <laughs> Where is this moaning bastard? Auto save. We're getting, we're halfway. Hunger and thirst. There you are. Right, let's see how the combat. Oh, I've got a machete. Of course I have. And we're slightly faster than the zombies, which is nice. Execution. Oh, but be aware, it uses half your stamina, and also, you can't interrupt the action. Let me search him. Can I search him? What's his head all flopping about? Start a motor. <laughs> we need a battery and a fan belt. Are we hungry? <laughs> Let's eat an apple. That would do food and water. <laughs> Let's eat an apple, yeah. So you can move while eating, which is good. But we're still we're more thirsty. Drink cola, but it doesn't tell us how much it will uh, quench. Funny. I'm surprised the gaming community honestly took so long to come up with another Zomboid-like game. Because when... The community seem when the, the devs come out with a type of game, whether it's like horror or survivalist or something, there seems to be loads of different variations within a very small space of time where people are trying to jump on the trend, jump on the bandwagon, that sort of thing. And I'm surprised it has taken this long to look at bring up another game. What up? Yeah. Can we get anything from another car then, or another truck? Can we search anything? No. Where do we get it from the front? Car. Ah, oh, there you go, you can search from the trunk. Electrical cable. Dirty water, which we can prove, which we can purify. Chocolate bar. So you can search the other cars. You just have to go into the trunk. So maybe that's why we'll find a motor then. Because as soon as you unlock the stuff for a car, the whole world's open to you then. <laughs> Crossway bolt. I'm glad we figured it out now. That's a step in the right direction. <laughs> We still don't want to venture too far from home. And down in the bottom right, you can see we've got a durability for our weapon as well. I think that is. I think to repair it, we need a repair kit, which we can craft. God, we're not doing great for health, are we?
Peanut butter. <laughs> Let's eat the stuff that can go can get spoiled. So we'll eat the apple. And there's stuff like nuts and peanut butter can sit there longer. Let's unequip that actually, because we could do more damage with our hands, and also we don't want to use that. We don't want to use a weapon unless we're overwhelmed by zombies. But why can't I search for any of the Z dudes? Why is it not letting us search any of the zombies? Battery, perfect. Although they are heavy, we have to remember. Pocket watch would be good for telling time. Uh, let's drink an energy drink. That would give us some stamina as well. Uh, no, let's let's not. Can we use any? Um, let's, pork and beans. Letter. Let's get rid of the tarp because I know we we've, we've got tarp back at the house. And let's take the pocket watch. <laughs> let's head back because we've um, we've got the battery now. So we should be able to use a car. Although we might be missing one more thing actually. Is that water? We have a boat. Oh, we've got a gear and a can of peas. Yes, but but can 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 we use the boat? I want to push the boat in. <laughs> All right, I'll just swim. Knowing that there's a perfectly good boat there. Am I swimming? Am I going to drown? I don't think it's a game that I would come back to, unless I knew there was. Updates or some major updates really But again, it's part of the development process I guess it's, it's what you ex you'd expect really with This type of game, I think I'll leave that there. It's got the makings of a decent game I guess the hype around it was probably just speculation and all something news out there maybe not about the game itself so i haven't seen too many creators play it as of yet or too much about their reviews and such so it's pretty fresh but like i said it's early access thanks for dropping in and watching the video let me know in the comments down below what you think i'll pop a couple of videos on the screen there one of the links on the screen will be a playlist of let's plays that i've done so far but thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video